My name is Ral and welcome to another edition of the Muscle Car Modeler. I wanted to show a retrospective of some older builds that I did many years ago. These are both actually about 15 years old. I did them in 2004. And since I'm currently building the new um, Revell Boss 302 kit that just came out, I decided I would show off my older build. And since I really can't show one without the other, I'm going to show both of these to you because they're both products of the same project. Basically, starting with the Revell Mach 1 kit, and I swapped the Boss 302 engine in from the 70 kit and did a few changes. That left me with a 70 that had no engine, and but I had the spare 428 engine from the Mach 1 kit. So I'm like, okay, we'll... Uh, make a Mach 1 out of the 70 kit and a Boss 302 out of the 69 kit. So this one, call it kit bashing, but here is the engine right out of the Boss 302 kit and it pretty much dropped right in. The air cleaner is foiled. This is bare metal foil. So I didn't chrome this one. And then the rest of it is just right out of the box and fit right in there really didn't have a whole lot of issues the underside the motor dropped right in I did have to shorten the drive shaft a little bit and then modify um, the exhaust just a tear I just cut the ends off and swapped them and then took the exhaust tips these exhaust tips on the back they're actually from the uh, AMT 70 charger I just cut them and spliced them in because the Mach 1 has dual chrome tips so also I had to fill in the depressions on the rear valance panel because the Boss 302 doesn't have that. So mostly this was body work on this particular one and making sure some things fit because the two cars are different scales. One's 124th, one's 125th. So you put them side by side, you can kind of see the difference. If I put the 69 in front as it's a smaller car, it doesn't stand out as much. But if I put the 70 in front, you can definitely see that the 69 is smaller. But I really enjoy these kits, these Revell kits. They're easy to build and they've got uh, great detail to them. Now the hood, unfortunately, the putty has shrunk a little bit and started to crack. So you can see where I filled in the shaker hood scoop. I'm kind of torn on whether or not I want to fix this or leave it since this is sold you can see where I filled in the bottom side I glued in a plug and puttied it didn't do the greatest job but I did do this 15 years ago um, so I'm kind of kind of torn I believe I do have a resin flat hood that came from um, somebody I believe is missing link but I never swapped it out because this one's already done Wheels also came from the um, 70 Boss 302's tires are a little bit big. These decals are uh, from the last detail and they fit the model great. They're pretty hard to find nowadays but with the new kit there's really no reason to look for them. I filled in the scoop on the side. Uh, that was a little difficult. Filled in where the medallion went on the C-pillar. And that was really all the mods I had to do. Now, this is also from the 70 Mustang kit. It's a little bit bigger, so I had to shave all around it, trim it to get it to fit the back window. But I did eventually get it to fit. This one, I did not change the interior. Um, it's one of the things I'm thinking about doing now is take it apart and redo the interior as far as changing the console out and taking the roll bar out of it because the roll bar is in this one. But I don't believe at the time I had realized that those were Shelby items and not to the Boss 302. But they're in there and I haven't decided if I'm going to fix a couple of the flaws with this kit or leave it as it is. As it is a reminder of what I did 15 years ago and where I was at modeling. Um, it's kind of clear coated. Some of the decals are wrinkling a little bit. Um, didn't do the greatest job gluing the mirror to the hood so there's some glue marks there. So, not really a show winner, but it's a it's one that I enjoyed building, and 
I love it. Came out came out exactly how I wanted it. Front end is the the Ravel front end that you don't want to take a picture from this angle because it doesn't quite look right. Never really bothered me, but I do like the way this car looks and the way it came out. The new front end I believe is much better. Not too particular to me as long as it really looks like the car is representing without looking cartoonish. Um, I like it. This one for me is kind of borderline because depending on which angle you take the picture at, it looks great. You go at a downward angle and whatnot, but if you go dead on, it looks kind of sad. You tilt it down, doesn't look too bad. So it's all in presentation on how you take your picture on how you want the front end of this particular car to look. So like I said, it really doesn't bother me. Um, and I do have a couple of the resin changes to change the front end, but I got them after I built these these cars. So on to the, the 70 here. Since I had the leftover parts and the engine, and I really didn't have to do any body work to this particular car to make a 70 Mach 1 with all the leftover parts, I decided I'm going to go ahead and do it. Hardest part was removing the emblem out of the grill. A lot of sanding, filing, and cutting with the razor saw, but I removed the emblem out of the grill. And then these actually came in the 69 kit. They're on the chrome tree. There are the turn signals for the Shelby that go down below, but they look just like the Mach 1's turn signals. So I adapted those to the grill, sanded them so they would glue in at an angle. And then I had to cut the hole in the hood for the shaker. Carefully did that. And uh, was real happy with the way it came out. Added some sprue around the edge, some real thin strip styrene. And then I had a problem with the decals wrinkling a little bit when I clear coated this one. Um, this isn't the automotive clear that I'm using now. It was kind of more of a lacquer clear, a little hot, and I was having some issues. But the decals are all Keith Marks. Real happy with the way this one came out. You can see the carving I did and shaving to get the shaker to fit. And same thing, this engine pretty much dropped right in. And really wasn't a whole lot of issue fitting the 125th scale engine into the 124th scale model. So pretty happy with the way that came out. Wheels and tires are actually AMT. So blasphemy, but I like these wheels. The Mach 1's had them. They're just kind of hubcaps. The AMT 71 Boss 302 comes with those in it. I swapped them onto this one. These are actually Keith Mark decals as well. All of the decals on the back on the trunk or the yeah the trunk uh, and decal and then the grating in the back is actually decal and then I did cut the roll pan and I put uh, some sauce tips on there to closely resemble even though they're technically Mopar tips it's what I had and what I used and then the rest of it came out really well and I also spliced the head pipes a little bit to swap the thing the motors so they would line up and uh, came out really really well so I've been very, very pleased with these two when they were done. And then I have to laugh now, as you guys all know, Ravel did eventually modify their 70 Boss 302 so that you can get a 70 Mach 1. Doesn't have the shaker of the 428. They put a really nice 351 in there. I did build one of those and uh, love it. Um, I just love these Ravel Mustangs, so I've got many of them. I've done many of them, but this is one of my first kit bashes between the two of them, and these came out really, really well. Most of the Boss 302 was, was the bodywork and just fitting a few parts, and then uh, the Mach 1 was mostly just cutting the hood and getting the shaker to line up. A lot of mocking up, putting the engine together and fitting the chassis of the body to make sure that it fit where it is where I could take it apart like I just did but uh, very very happy with these and then of course Ravel as we all know came out with the Boss 302 kit just recently so now you don't have to go through and kit bash like I did to come out with these unless you do want a Mach 1 with a 428 engine but uh, maybe Ravel will come out with that soon too but I hope you enjoyed these. Please leave any comments behind and let me know what you what you think. And I appreciate you tuning in.